Well, new at six and only on two, a sci fair ISD high school coach and teacher is under investigation for allegations of improper conduct with a student. Lynn Bradford has been a teacher at Cypress Woods High School since 2019 and now is on administrative leave. KPRC 2 Sion Road spoke to the parent of one of the students who says she was a victim of Bradford. Sion is live near the school tonight. Sion. And that teenager telling her parents that the incidents allegedly took place in the class during the school day, and she says she was not the only girl it happened to. I feel helpless. I didn't know, and um, she hurt, and that bothers me. This man, who we are not naming to protect the identity of his child, says his teenage stepdaughter is one of several girls now claiming to have been victimized on campus by Cypress Woods baseball coach and biology teacher Lywin Lynn Bradford. She was not the first one. There's, uh, apparently there's uh, almost 20 that have came forward so far. He says his stepdaughter had complained about her fourth period biology teacher, but never gave any details when asked. She still stated, oh, my, bi my biology teacher, he, he's just weird. Yeah, he, he's just strange. According to Cypher ISD, Bradford was placed on administrative leave December 9th as a result of an investigation into allegations of improper conduct with a student. She said it happened probably eight or nine times. His stepdaughter told her parents Bradford violated her during class. Um, she told me that basically what he would do is uh, would come up to his desk and he would fondle her. He's a predator and he's taking advantage of these young teenage girls. This dad hoping the investigation leads to consequences. Prison, you know, you that is so wrong to do that to a child. I don't care what age they are. Now we know that Bradford has worked here since 2019. He has also worked in at least two other area school districts. The parents of this teen say they want to encourage other parents to talk to their kids, ask the hard questions, and encourage them and let them know it's okay to speak up if they need to. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News.